out there? Fast Food Toy Reviews here. Today is viewer fan mail day. That's right, we got a whole giant stack of letters that we need to go through. A bunch of people out there were kind enough to send me some cool mail. So I think it's time to get started. So if you'd like to send a letter, you can send it to Fast Food Toy Reviews, P.O. Box 231, Hinsdale, New York, 14743. So this first letter comes from Bailey Angus, and I already took it out. Let's take a look at this envelope. This is really cute and pretty. Look at all the little birds and everything. So inside was a little card and it says on your special day there's some birdhouses, a picket fence. There's a look at the back and inside was a bunch of little goodies in here. So let's take a look at some of this stuff. So we have, what is this right here? It's like a little postcard and it reads, be still and know that I am God. Psalms 46, 10 and on the back. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah, Psalm 46, 10, 11. Okay, cool. So we have some Bible verses. And then we have a Happy Valentine's Fast Toy Reviews. Two Fast Toy Reviews from Bailey. It's like a 3D lenticular little <laughs> a piggy with a mustache. And then, let's see, what is this thing? It says, you are awesome, with a shark and then a stick in there. What is this? And it reads, happy Valentine's Day, fast food toy reviews from Bailey. What's the stick? Is it? What is this? Is it a toothpick? I guess it's like an oversized toothpick, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. And let's see, what else do we got here? And then we have a little magnet. This is cool. Supporter Special Olympics. SpecialOlympics.org, so it's a, a Special Olympics magnet you can put on your refrigerator or whatever. That's awesome. And then let's see, there is a letter here and a card. So let's take a look at the card right here. It reads, just a little note to sing your praises on your birthday. Happy birthday, happy Easter fast food toy <laughs> Sincerely, Bailey. I have mixed emotions. Is it my birthday? Did I forget it was my birthday? No, I think it's just a nice Easter card. And they're just reusing the birthday card. Either way, I love it. I appreciate it. I think this is just fantastic. So let's see. Here's the letters. Anything on the back? Oh, it looks like there's something on the back there. Oh, there's an address. We'll cover that up. Your videos are cool. Okay, so let's read this letter. It reads, I've seen videos of people mailing companies asking for free stuff, having a semi-new idea, and not wanting to recreate the recreate the wheel. I figured I'd shoot my shot and ask YouTubers for free items, stickers, promotional stuff, t-shirts, two times T-size. Regardless whether you send something or don't send anything, I sincerely appreciate you for taking the time to read this letter. I love your videos. I aspire to be a YouTuber myself. I almost have 700 subscribers. And there's a little heart sticker. Well, that's cool. Yeah, shoot your shot. You never know. People might send you something random. But this is cool. Oh, it even shows 2024 right there. So you sent me all kinds of cool stuff. I appreciate it. You know? Thank you for taking the time to send this card to me. <laughs> I just love this stuff. You never know what you're going to get. You get all these cool things from people. Well, thanks for being a fan. Thanks for watching. I appreciate everything, Bailey. The next letter comes from Dhruv Mob Moby. Uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing your name properly. I don't mean to butcher it, but I do my best to pronounce everybody, read everybody's things. It's, you know, I'm the worst sometimes. So anyway, Dhruv hails from Illinois, and on the back of the letter it read, P.S. For fast story reviews, save my address before blurring it out. You'll need it later. Okay, so let's open the letter and have a read and find out what they're referring to. So let's see here. So there's an address back here, so we'll just cover that up. And it says, it says Druv Moby Mob. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure how to pronounce that. You'll have to, you know, let me know in the comments section. All right. So it reads, Dear Fast Food Toy Reviews, what do you think of my drawing of a McDonald's? McDonald's made out of abbreviations of McDonald's in <laughs> many tiny little squares that you can see here on the bottom of this letter. Wait a minute, right there. Oh yeah, look at that. So there's a McDonald's restaurant, and they used it MD for McDonald's and created a bunch of little squares and made a little McDonald's restaurant. It says up here in the top right, by the way, congratulations on having your channel reach 11 years of age last month in February. Oh, that's right. That's right. 11 years. Holy cow. It's been a long time. I've been around a long time. <laughs> that's crazy. 
<laughs> I've outlasted I've outlasted millions of YouTubers. Isn't that great? Thank you for the recognition. I appreciate that. So it reads here on the bottom featuring 69 different squares of all types of sizes. Yes, I know. One of them is technically a triangle. I hope you enjoyed checking out this little drawing of mine. I would also like to have your signature, so may I please have it? You can put it on some random fast food toy of yours that you don't need anymore, or a slip of paper, whatever is fine with you. Preferably a fast food toy would be liked. Okay, Drew, Mob, M-O-H-B-E, Mob. I'm hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. And let's see, let's cover up the address. We'll flip it over to the back here because there was more to read. And it reads right here. Fast Food Toy Reviews, reviewing Fast Food Toys since February 26th of 2013, 11 years of reviewing excellency. P.S. As of me writing this at 9.50 p.m. on 3-26-2024, you are six videos away from reaching 1,000 on your channel. Oh, that's good stuff. And then he puts, he puts his address here. So, that is awesome. I appreciate the shout out for that. You know, I appreciate that very much. And let's see what I can do. I might be able to do something to come up with it an autograph for you and get you something mailed out i'd be happy to find something uh just give me some time i'll put something together for you and get you something cool with a signature on it thank you very much for the cool letter drew hopefully i'm pronouncing your name right the next letter comes from david m debolski so hopefully i'm pronouncing that right and debolski <laughs> david m debolski and what's really cool is it has a little caboose here from a train. I absolutely love the trains and a really cool postage stamp as well. So they put their address on the letter. So I'm going to use my thumb and try to cover that up a little bit here. And let's see, we'll get this open and try to get this address covered up. There we go. We'll do it like this. Dear Fast Food Toy Reviews, have another Fast Food Toy Review video idea on YouTube. Can you please review the Area Express Lionel train set from your Wen from Wendy's in 2002? There are four different toys in the set. Your fans would really enjoy this. Yes, I am familiar with the Erie Express train set. I'm fairly certain I have that. So I'll have to dig that out and see what I can find. Let me know what you think. Would love to hear back from you. Please continue to, continue to be safe as COVID and its many contagious variants are still hanging around. Well, you bet. I absolutely, I stay safe and avoid everything. Sincerely, David M. Dabalski. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate your concern. Thank you for the wonderful letter and the excellent recommendation. I'm familiar with that set, so I'll see what I can do in the near future. Hopefully, I can dig that out. And if I don't have it, well, I guess I'll just have to go online and grab it. Thanks, buddy. This letter comes from Justin Fleming, hailing out of California. Justin Fleming from California. And here is the letter. Justin Fleming writes, Dear Fast Food Toy Reviews, I like the basketball toy video. What was your favorite ball? Was it one, two, three, four, or five? I like number four. The only things I liked about the ball was the basketball game. I hope you write me back. From Justin Fleming. Yes, I think number four is awesome too. That's I think I know what say you're referring to. This is, yeah, number four is definitely a cool one. Yeah, I agree. I'm, I'm with you on that one. Number four is definitely my favorite as well. Yes, cool little letter. I appreciate it. And I appreciate the time you took to write me this neat little letter. And what does this say here? It's got Buzz Lightyear. For, look at this. The postage stamp is Buzz Lightyear. Go beyond. That's awesome. So, again, thank you, Justin Fleming. Appreciate the letter. This letter comes from Philip N. Guypen. I'm the worst with pronouncing names. You can see right here, let's see, Philip N. Guypen? Guypen? I'm not 100% sure. I apologize if I'm not getting it right. You can always message me or leave a comment to clarify that if you're able to. And on the back, watch, watch it all episodes on Netflix. He crossed out Max Cinemax, maybe? I'm not really sure, but here's the letter. Let's read the letter from Philip here. And hopefully, I can see the name in here. Okay, it reads, 2019's DC Superhero Girls. And coming live from Fast Food Toy Reviews, March 29th. P.S. Bring back Disney Toy Reviews. Oh, okay, so okay, so you want me to start uploading again from on my Disney Toy Reviews channel. Well, I guess I could. I mean, I got tons of Disney stuff. I mean, there's no real reason why I can't. Uh, except for one thing, it's time. And reviews on that channel are just slightly different than, than playing with a bunch of Happy Meal toys and such. So they're li some of those toys that I have, like they're a little bit more involved and it's a matter of me having extra time between my work schedule and my kids and sports and everything. 
So, you know, sometimes I struggle just to barely find enough time to do the Happy Meal toys, but I really would enjoy getting back into reviewing all my Disney collection. And well, I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of various and different awesome Disney collectibles from all the movies and different shows and stuff from over the years. All kinds of electronic stuff. I got Wally -E and, you know, all, all, just all kinds of cool stuff. Monsters Inc., really cool electronic stuff, Star Wars stuff. I think it'd be a lot of fun to put stuff back on that channel, get that channel fired up. It's not a bad idea. And so hopefully I'll hear from you again, Philip. Thanks for this cool little letter. I appreciate it. The next letter up is from Maxwell Smith, hailing out of, I believe, Syracuse, New York. Syracuse, I've been there a hundred times. I love Syracuse, beautiful place. Love that little city. And so here is the little envelope, beautiful little American flag stamps, freedom forever, USA, I love that. And then here are all the little goodies that were inside the envelope. So let's just go through these one at a time and see what's going on here. So let's open this up and see what do we have here. Meet the Justice Brood, Kiss Cartoon Otis as Cowman, we have Pip as Rat Boy, we have Abby as Cowgirl, Pig as Mr. Hamtastic, Freddy as Paranoid Man, and Beck as Green Rooster. Look at this. That's awesome. Look at that. Such good stuff. Oh, I love this. <laughs> okay. All right, so what else have we got here? Looks like we have some more artwork. I love the artwork. I love when you guys send me the artwork and the drawings and stuff. Oh, it always tickles me inside. Okay, let's see. And what do we have? Here we go. Oh, what is this? Let's flip it over. Okay, here we go. Goofy Goober. <laughs> so what is this like? What, what am I looking at? Is this SpongeBob as a peanut? Maybe Goofy Goober? Because that's what SpongeBob says. I'm trying to make sense of this. He's holding a lollipop. Definitely hand drawn. Like you can see that they kind of like drew this and colored it all in. Beautiful artwork. <laughs> I don't know, but I love it. This is actually awesome. I, like, what am I looking at? I'm not sure. Goofy Goober. I'm trying to adjust and make <laughs> make sense of it. Like I'm trying to picture this as SpongeBob as a peanut. <laughs> This is great. It's making me smile. It's making me grin ear to ear. That's awesome. Oh, this is good stuff. Okay, let me get this other one open here. I'm trying to take my time. Here, here, here we go. And what does this show here? The characters of Back at the Barnyard. We have Otis, Pip, Pig, Freddy, Peck, Duke, Bessie, Abby, the Farmer, Nora, Beanie, Nathan Beanie, Snotty Boy, and the Pizza Twins. Look at that. That's cool. Oh, I love this stuff. What else we have? Oh, we got some more. Okay, and it says flip here. What is this? Okay, it reads Rodolfo Rivera, Manny Rivera, and Gra Granddaddy Rivera. And it says flip here. It looks like they stapled it right here. You open it up, and then inside it has La Tigressa. And we open it and we flip it here. Oh, I see. Okay, and then El Tigre, and Puma Loco, and White Pantera. Oh, I see. You printed out, like, some characters. Oh, okay. I'm not too familiar with this. Maybe maybe you can let me know later what's going on with this here. It looks really cool, though. You stapled it and everything. Appreciate that. That's actually really neat. And then right here, we have another printout. What is this? Well, this is like Megamind. So we have Megamind, Minion, the Brain Bots, Roxanne Ritchie, Metro Man, and Hal Stewart as Titan. Look at that. So it's from the Megamind uh, movie. Very cool stuff, man. A lot of cool things in this letter for sure. Wow, look at all this stuff. This is great. <laughs> Especially this, like, what is this, SpongeBob as a peanut? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, this is really cool. Let's see, anything else on the back? Anything? I don't know what to make of it, but I I'm guessing that's what it's supposed to be. So, anyway, appreciate it, Maxwell. You're the best. I love your artwork and I love your printouts. This next letter comes from Ethan Partington, hailing from Nevada, Las Vegas, Nevada. Okay, so let's see what Ethan has sent us. Ethan has sent us letters before in the past as well. So there is a little heart cut out, like a little post-it, shaped like a heart. And we open this up, a little post-it down here. What does this post-it say? P.S. Thank you for reading my letter. Absolutely, no problem. You sent me a cool letter. I absolutely will read it. I love showing off the fan mail. So let's see. The letter reads, Dear Fast Food Toy Reviews, I was wondering, can you do a review of Space Goofs from Taco Bell in 1998? Space Goofs? I, I don't even think I've heard of that, I'll be honest with you. I've heard of just about every set, but I don't think I've ever heard of Space Goofs from Taco Bell. That must be a really obscure, rare set. 
That's going to make me, I am going to make a note of that and look into that for sure. Space Goofs from Taco Bell from Ethan. Sign, a little smiley face there. Wow, that's a good one. Uh, this, see, this is why I like recommendations. I love when people make suggestions because of this reason right here. Space Goofs from Taco Bell, 1998. Wow. And here is some of the pictures they drew of the Space Goofs. Here, Space Goofs is this gorgeous bud et et no. In Candy 2024. Look at that hand drawing. That's really good. Really good artwork right here. Wow, that's impressive. You know, if I had half the ability to do this, I'd probably be drawing for Marvel Comics or something. <laughs> but I'm a professional, like I said, I'm a professional uh, st <laughs> stick drawer. I could draw stick figures like, like, like you've never seen before. I am like the best at drawing stick figures. This is impressive. Look at this. So Space Goose, huh? Ethan, I don't know, man. I'm going to look into that, and I'll, I'll see what I can find. That's a good one. So appreciate it, buddy. Thanks for the recommendation, and thanks for the wonderful letter. And the last three letters come from our good friend Maurice Smith Jr., who's been sending us mail for quite a while now. So we have three different letters. This one is dated March 16th, and Maurice hails from Pennsylvania. Okay, so the first letter is right here. Let's open this up and give it a read. Let's see what Maurice has to say. Dear Fast Toy Reviews, top of the morning to you, St. Patrick's Day reference. <laughs> yeah, how have you been? Your channel never fails to amaze me. Who's your favorite Disney movie character? Do you like The Little Mermaid? Yes, I love The Little Mermaid. Pinocchio is one of my favorite Disney characters. Of course, Mickey Mouse, Pluto. It's hard to really narrow it down. I love them all so much. If you could have a superpower, which would it be? I think I'd be super strong. If you had a chance to hang out with a Disney character besides Mickey, who would it be? Well, I guess uh, Donald Duck, actually. <laughs> I think Donald Duck would be a lot of fun to hang out with. What's your favorite toy you reviewed over the years? Oh, that's that's such a hard question. Oh, I love Optimus Prime, uh, Godzilla toys, Minion toys. There's so many. Uh, my favorite toy... Probably, probably my, one of my Optimus Primes. I'm not really sure. That's a hard question. That's tough to answer. Collect collectors have a hard time answering questions like that. Don't you know that? I think you might be a collector too. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, let's see. What's your favorite toy review? My favorite toy. Uh, have you been to Disneyland? Yes, I have. Many years ago. And I plan on going again in the future. Can you please send me some of your toys next time you do a live stream on that? Well, you know, when I do a live stream, it's a random draw. You can just random winners. So as long as you're there, I got a live stream coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. You never know. Okay, so there's the first letter. And then we'll get to the next one. This one was mailed. Oops, sticking everything. So this one was mailed on the uh, March 23rd. So let's see what we got here. We'll open this up carefully. And let's see what's in here. Here we go. Wow, this one's all wrinkled up pretty good. Dear Fast Food Toy Reviews, hope you are having an awesome day. Well, thank you. I hope your day is beautiful, too. Can you make a video of the toys you collected over the years, like a collection video? At some point, someday, I probably will do a collection video. I get a lot of people over the years ask me to do something. And eventually, I promise you guys, I will 100% do a collection video at some point. It's, it's It would be quite the whopper. I got thousands and thousands and thousands of toys so it would be a very long video uh let's see what is it here what's your favorite prince song purple rain who who's your other favorite youtuber that reviews fast food toys mitch santona of course it's it's always been mitch santona he's my bestest friend and he makes the best funny reviews every time he does a video I laugh and chuckle and giggle because he's got a weird, quirky sense of humor just like I do. If you guys never heard of Mitch Santona, go check him out. I'm always sharing his stuff. I always go over there. We're good buddies. And he makes great videos. <laughs> so it's like a win-win. Not only are we really friends, he makes great videos. It's like, you know, a win for me and another win for me. Have you seen Worm? Uh, what does it say? Have you seen Norm of the North in 2016? Uh, I can't remember. Do you have any pets? Yes, I have three doggies. What's your favorite book? I would say my favorite book would probably be maybe The Catcher in the Rye? I'm not really sure. Do you like The Little Mermaid? Yes, I do. Did you see Savage? Did I see Savage Party in 2016? 
Savage Party? Sa oh, Sausage Party. Uh, no, I, I don't know if I watched that or not, but I've heard of it. I, I can't remember. What's your favorite Nirvana song? All of them. <laughs> Did you know SpongeBob's creator passed away in 2018? I, I was aware, I wasn't, I couldn't remember, I wouldn't know what the exact year was, but I knew it wasn't that long ago. But that's sad. It's always sad news when people move on. They're going to be missed. Okay. And last letter. Let's see if we can get this open here. And are we going to struggle? <laughs> oh, come on. I guess we're going to have to tear this open a little bit better here. Maurice, try to be careful when you're putting your letters in your envelopes. Because you can see what we got here. Oh, what is going on here? What is this? Is that a real dollar? What is going on here? Hold on a second. Did you send me a dollar? <laughs> I don't think anybody's ever sent me money before. Hold on a second. Let's read through this letter. Dear Fast and Toy Reviews, if you got the letter after Easter, I am. I know you did. I hope you had a happy Easter. Well, thank you. I hope you had a wonderful Easter, too. What's your favorite Easter candy? Well, I would say the chocolate bunnies. I love chocolate. That's my favorite candy. Anything chocolate. And have you seen... The Night Nightmare Before Christmas. Yes, many, many times. Uh, I love that movie. What's your favorite cereal? Cheerios. Honey Nut Cheerios. Do you like... <coughs> excuse me. Do you like the Disney movie Frozen? Yep, I like them both. If you could spend a day with your favorite Disney princess, who would it be? Ariel. I think Ariel's my favorite. What's your... What... What's your favorite movie starring Reese Witherspoon? Oh, man, she's made some good ones. Reese Witherspoon? Um, where's the one where she broke up with her boyfriend? And stuff? I can't remember, it, but there's one where she had, like, a boyfriend. She just goes through a breakup and stuff. But I think that would be my favorite one. I just can't. Oh, I'm having a brain fart. But I, it's one where she's, she's, she's going through, like, a break. Or she has a breakup with her boyfriend or something. I remember that comedy. Did you see... Did you see the Easter bear? I can't. Re I can't. <laughs> I can't understand what you wrote here. So maybe take take better time. Like next time you write me a letter, if you if you plan to write me another letter in the, in the future, like be be a little bit more uh, accurate when you're writing. I can't make out what this reads right here. This is really a tough one. When's your favorite James Cameron movie? I don't know. I, I can't remember. What movies James Cameron was in? I know, I know who he is. He was in like a TV show from like back in the '90s or '80s or something. What's your favorite of uh, pizza? Something. My, I can't read. <laughs> I'm sorry, Maurice. Uh, what's your favorite something of pizza? Cham. <laughs> I don't know what that reads. Who's your favorite Looney Tunes character? Probably. Oh, I don't even know. Tasmanian Devil, probably. Or you know somebody, Sam? I'm not sure. Porky Pig? Yeah. Have you seen the movie D D Danka? Danka? Damka? D Dama? Dama? I'm not sure. Some of your writing is its hard for me to read. Some of it's not le le legible for me. I'm sorry, Maurice. I'll try. What's, have you seen the movie... I, I'm not really sure what that... It's kind of scribbled together there. Definitely spend more time. When you write more let write letters, just spend a little more time. Slow down a little bit and practice your writing. So I, I'm really, I feel I feel bad because I can't read some of your writing here. But I'm doing my best. I think I got most of it. So anyway, thank you, Maurice, for all three letters. I love the fact that you, you, you spent all this time asking all these wonderful questions. I really appreciate it. And you actually sent me a dollar. Is this a real dollar? Nobody's ever sent me money before. Look at that. I got my first... This is my first dollar <laughs> sent to me from Fast Food Toy Reviews. That's great. Thanks, Maurice. I appreciate it. Thank you, everybody, for all these wonderful letters. Thank you, Maurice, Ethan, Philip, and we have Maxwell, and Justin, and David, and Drew. I hope I got that right, and Bailey. Every one of you, thank you so much for taking the time to send me a letter. I appreciate all of it. I love it. Love you guys. Stay tuned. We got some great videos coming up. And once I get a few more letters, we'll do another fan mail video here real soon. Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. See you next time.